on, on some of the global bond yields at the moment? Because obviously we've also got the Fed. That's a, another risk uh, to, to sort of global markets over the next few months and a potential hike. What are global bond yields doing uh, at the moment? Simon Michelle joining us now. Simon. Good afternoon, Ingrid. Uh, look, they remain lower. In fact, we had a uh, broad market index come out from Bank of America which shows that uh, global bond yields are at uh, an all-time low, certainly the lowest they've been over 20 years. So uh, no surprise there, but what it demonstrates is just the challenges that the US Fed has in that environment where you've had the ECB, BO, uh, Bank of Japan continuing to support markets, provide more bond buying. Uh, you know, they're, they're flying alone at the moment, so uh, obviously we've had a lot of commentary where they're pulling back or delaying that expectation for further rate increases that's likely to remain a theme this year. We've got some Fed members speaking this week, including hearing from Janet Yellen again. Any changes you expect to bond yields, or do you think they've already priced in, you know, what we heard from her just last week? Look, they've been pretty steady, really. There hasn't really been much of a move since uh, sort of the beginning of March. Uh, you know, they're, they're staying at those low points. Uh, we're certainly not seeing any volatility, uh, even if you look out in the long end, and that's really been supported by the volatility in the rest of the markets. There's good demand for bonds. Uh, that's keeping yields low. Uh, additional support. I mean, the ECB is about to start buying investment-grade corporate bonds. That's going to provide more support there as well. So, look, I think uh, for, the me for the short term, we're not going to see much movement at all on those US rates. Simon, Michelle, appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Ingrid.